Children and their rights, particularly those in the region, came under the spotlight earlier today at the first ever Global Child Forum to be held in the region. Earlier today, at the opening ceremony of the Global Child Forum, Her Royal Highness Princess Haya Bint Al Hussein, the chairperson of International Humanitarian City, and the wife of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, called on all sectors of the society to act and help protect children across the region and the globe. She highlighted some of the UAE's achievements and contribution in the protection of children and their rights, which includes a child protection law, access to high quality education, gender equality, as well as access to proper health and medical care. At the same time, she emphasized the plight of women and children in conflict areas in the region. After four successful runs since its inception, the Global Child Forum has ventured out of Stockholm, Sweden, to engage even more people. The non-profit foundation started by His Majesty King Carl XVI Gustav and Her Majesty Queen Sylvia of Sweden envision a sustainable world where children's rights are respected and supported by all stakeholders in society. More children are better off today than ever before. <laughs> However, at the same time, more children are victims of violence, conflicts, forced migration, trafficking, and climate change than before. I am a mother of three and a grandmother of two small children. His Majesty and I, like most parents, love and deeply care about our children. But we also care about other children, the children of the world who are suffering. We want to find new ways to help these children and their parents. According to a recent survey conducted by the Global Child Forum on 353 publicly listed companies in nine industry sectors in the MENA region, 42% donate to charity-related children and a quarter have their own programs related to children. While over 60% address corporate social responsibility, only 11 address children's rights. The chairman of the Global Child Forum, Ulf Karlberg, says that in a region that has a largely young population, the figures need to improve significantly. This is an important part of the world. We have in the uh, Arab League countries 400 million people, where 190 million are children. There are lots of children here. In this region we see war, conflict, social unrest, but also like in Dubai or in UAE, we see a lot of progress, stability and uh, building of, of great societies. So that's why we've chosen to be here for the first forum outside Sweden. Dynamic region with lots of opportunities, but still some, some issues. If you look at the CSR movement or the sustainability movement, it's very often about the environment. But we have to realize that a third of the world's population are children they will be the future for us. And therefore, we must at an early stage include them in any sustainability discussion. Some of the world's most respected and leading, and by the way, also some of the world's most profitable companies, they already do this. Whether the children are touched by a company's products or marketing or future services, it is a very important stakeholder. Children as a target group for many companies are you know, becoming more and more important. They are an important consumer. And I think uh, that's one uh, very important reason why we want to uh, focus on the relationship between children's rights and the corporate sector. And also, uh, as I said, raise awareness and uh, make sure that the companies uh, address children's rights in, in various ways. Uh, and I've, we've seen that child labor has been one issue that companies typically address, but there are other issues uh, and issues that are more and closer to the core business of companies. For instance, as uh, product responsibility and marketing responsibility.